Hello and welcome to Philip Bond's Computer Networking Lab. You are watching the instructional video called IBGP Configuration. IBGP, otherwise known as the External Border Gateway Protocol, is responsible for sending routing advertisements between routers in the autonomous system. In this example, Verizon has four routers which talk with each other, Sprint has five routers which talk with each other, and Roadrunner has four routers which talk with each other. There's a slight exception in the Roadrunner case because it has artificial autonomous systems within itself. Let's look at what is needed in order to create a simple autonomous system. The router BGP command puts the router into BGP configuration mode. The neighbor remote as command forms a BGP session with other routers. The neighbor update source command chooses which interfaces will be used for advertisement. IBGP means that it's an internal border gateway protocol, meaning that all the routers within a particular autonomous system can talk to each other. For example, Verizon has the 70.0 network. The routers in Verizon all will use the IBGP protocol. Sprint and Roadrunner are two different autonomous systems. So they are external border gateway protocols or EBGP. According to the rules of IBGP in a single autonomous system, if router A advertises a route to router B, router B cannot then advertise that same route to router C. But router A can directly advertise that route to router C. Now let's take a look at the simple configuration of routers that are IBGP neighbors. Let's look at the router Verizon 2 and see how an internet service provider might configure their router. First we will type in a show IP route command. I will highlight the public IP address that the internet service provider sees. Remember that the 70s belong to the Verizon, the 80s belong to Sprint, and the 90s belong to Roadrunner. Verizon 2 can only see the loopback interfaces for the Verizon network because the loopback address is only advertised by EIGRP, which only runs in Verizon's network. This is also true for Verizon private 10.0 IP addresses, which are also advertised by EIGRP. Now let's take a look at the configuration of the router by typing in the show running config command. Here we can see that the private IP addresses and the loopback interface are advertised by EIGRP. This is the BGP command. We will advertise the 70.0.2 network. 
and we will form neighbor relationships with other routers in the network. The router does not need to be directly connected in order to form a neighbor relationship. Now we can use the show IP BGP summary command to view which routers Verizon 2 has neighbor relationships with and if they're exchanging routes. In this video, we looked at the concept of how IBGP routers interact with one another in a autonomous system. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.